Origin Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, if you have not yet, please subscribe. Or as somebody told me before, said that you're begging for subscriptions at the end of the post. Nah, I like to do it up front and personal. Uh, today's video is on the seven most unbelievable shows of the 1960s. Let's see if you agree. Well, it's kind of hard not to agree with these, trust me. But let's see if you do. Uh, let's start with My Mother, the Car. Uh, why it was unbelievable. Well, Jerry Van Dyke buys a 40-year-old car because his deceased mother talks him through the car radio. Van Dyke also was thwarted off a ruthless car collector who is after his mother's, um, the car. Um, my favorite Martian. Why it was unbelievable? A human-looking alien from Mars crashes near L.A. and becomes the roommate of a young newspaper reporter. The two become friends, and the alien even builds a time machine and an object that can rearrange molecules. Okay, how about the Flying Nun? Why is it unbelievable? The name says it all. Sally Field played a nun in Puerto Rico who flies around and solves problems. It was all possible thanks to her small stature and the ridiculously large cornet on top of her habit. That looked like the wings of an airplane. As you could imagine, the flying nun created as many problems as she helped solve. Mr. Ed. Why was it unbelievable? Well, because Mr. Ed's a horse and he could talk. But he didn't talk to just anyone, only his owner, Wilbur. Uh, this led to a running gag where people would question who was talking when they heard Ed speak. Series never explained why the horse could talk. He just could. Uh, how about Bewitched? Why was it unbelievable? A witch named Samantha falls in love with a mortal named Darren and promises to give him to give up her powers. Nothing too outrageous there, except that the magic from her family starts to meddle in everyone's business. Poor old Darren. Constantly falls under a spell, but only his love for his wife is stronger. I dream of Jeannie. Okay, why was it unbelievable? Well, how about astronaut Tony Nelson, played by Larry Hagman, crash lands on a deserted island, only to find a genie in a bottle who is borderline obsessed with him. Lucky him. And seven, Gilligan's Island. Why was it unbelievable? Seven castaways end up stranded on a deserted island after a storm, throws their three-hour tour off course. Well, let's just forget about the fact that the professor never fixed the ship during the three seasons the show was broadcast. Uh, the show is unbelievable because the castaways never got off the island, despite numerous people showing up on the island and then leaving without them. I found some of this, and I just thought this was so funny. I just, just I got a kick out of it. It actually added some other stuff to it, but I just I want to make it a little bit shorter, and uh, and then just I put it in the parts that I enjoyed. So I hope you enjoyed them as well. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. I'm doing requests, so head on over there and see if I've done yours. And if you have not subscribed while you're over there, do that. And if you have not subscribed here do that. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.